Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to discuss the determinants of money supply. There are three determinants of money supply. Number one is central bank determinant of money supply. Number two is commercial bank determinants of money supply. And number three is depositors or public determinant of money supply. So we will discuss all the three determinants one by one in the detail. So let's find out. To understand the determinants of money supply in the economy, let us first focus on the money supply equation. So this is the money supply equation where MS is the money supply which depends upon the money multiplier and the monetary base. So money supply is the function of money multiplier and monetary base. So the first part of the equation that is the money multiplier here RR stands for required reserve ratio CD stands for currency to deposit ratio and ED stands for desired excess reserve ratio while MB stands for monetary base. So from this equation we will try to find out how much money supply is created in the economy for a given monetary base. To answer this question, we have to find out the value of money multiplier, which comprised of required reserve ratio, desired excess reserve ratio by the commercial banks, and desired currency to deposit ratio by the public. So therefore, the banking system and the public together transform the monetary base into specific amount of currency holding and deposit. This transformation is called as money supply process. The resulting amount of money as the amount of money supplied and it is also called as the money stock or money supply in the economy. So we can say that money stock in the economy depends upon the money multiplier and monetary base. This monetary base is also called as the high powered money or reserve money. So change in the money stock in the economy is caused by two factors. Number one is the money multiplier and number two is the monetary base. If there is increase in the monetary base, it will lead to increase in money supply. If there is decrease in monetary base, it will lead to decrease in money supply. That means there is a direct relationship between the monetary base and the money supply in the economy. Any change in the monetary base done by the central bank that is RBI, Reserve Bank of India, it is going to impact the money supply in the economy. In the same way, if there is increase in money multiplier, it would increase the money supply. If there is decrease in money multiplier, it would decrease the money supply money stock in the economy. So from this we can say that any change in the monetary base or change in the money multiplier affect the amount of money stock in the economy. Now let us understand the determinants of money supply in the economy in detail. There are basically three determinants of money supply in the economy. Number one is the central bank. In India, it is the Reserve Bank of India. Number two is the commercial banks. And number three is the depositors or the public determinant. Money supply changes due to the change in the behavior of all the three determinants of money supply. The central bank, the commercial bank and the public. Now coming to the central bank determinant of money supply, it includes the monetary base which is also called as a reserve money or high powered money and the required reserve ratio. These both are the central bank determinant of money supply. Coming to the commercial bank determinant of money supply, it includes the desired excess reserve ratio. Now the question is, what is this desired excess reserve ratio? It is the excess reserve held by the commercial banks over and above the required reserve. Required reserve comprise of CRR and SLR. If commercial bank keeps 
reserve over and above the required reserve that is more than required reserve that is called excess reserve keeping excess reserve by the commercial banks means banks are not fully loaned up it is a kind of leakage in a money multiplier process because banks are not using this reserve for money multiplier and that is going to reduce the money supply in the economy now coming to the depositors or public determinant of money supply it includes the desired currency to deposit ratio that means it is the depositor choice to keep either currency in hands or deposit in banks if they have a higher currency to deposit ratio that means they have a high chance high preference for holding currency it is going to reduce the money supply in the economy that means holding currency in hands instead of keeping it as a deposit in bank means it is a leakage in a money supply process as it is going to reduce the process of money multiplier by the banks so if there is a high preference for keeping currency in hand it is going to reduce the money supply in the economy now in part 2 of the determinants of money supply i will be discussing on the sources of change in the reserve money by the central bank and how central bank decisions on required reserve ratio impact the money supply in the economy in part 3 of the series we will try to find out what are the factors which are responsible for commercial banks desired excess reserve ratio where we will see in detail the factors are market interest rate on loan interest rate on borrowed reserve and risk of deposit withdrawal in part 4 we will see the factors which are responsible for public desired currency to deposit ratio where we will discuss the interest rate on checkable deposits fees on checkable deposits probability of bank failure illegal activity and income in detail if you have any questions on this presentation please leave your questions in the comment section and like and subscribe my channel to get further notifications thank you so much